Okay, this is the inspection procedure we're going to use to determine whether or not the ISB 7105 set-top box has an at t splash screen on it or a generic splash screen on it. We have here is a monitor we have connected with an HDMI cable. We also have a power cord uh, for the ISB 7105 set-top box all ready to go. First step you do is you take a unit from the uh, pallet, brand new. You open up and take a look at the carton box label and scan it. You can scan the serial number, the Ethernet, the GUID, and the Wi-Fi Mac and record that. <clears throat> then you open it up, take the set-top box out of the plastic bag, making sure that the set-top box stays with the unit and also make sure that you do not remove the power adapter and the power cord that's inside the box already. And then close this up. Check the serial number on the bottom of the unit. This one happens to be ending in 171, which matches the serial number on the bottom of the carton box here, 171. So this is all good to go for the next step in the process. <clears throat> so what you do is connect the HDMI cable to the rear of the set-top box. And then we're going to go ahead and power up the ISP7105 set-top box. And then what we do is we're going to wait for about a minute until the splash screen appears on the TV monitor. Now depending on what appears on the TV monitor, you'll see an at t splash screen or a generic splash screen. So what we're hoping to see is a generic splash screen, which means the unit's good. If it's an at t splash screen, then we'll go ahead and perform the DRA process on this particular unit. And so while we're waiting, we can actually be hooking up other monitors and testing out additional units to uh, minimize any downtime. So as many monitors as you have, we can uh, have connected and we can be going through a much more greater number of units. Okay, so now, as you can see on the monitor, this is a, you see here, an at t splash screen, which means we have actually have a bad unit. So now what we need to do is perform the DRA process on this particular ISB7105. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is unplug the power from the rear of the unit. And then we're going to do is power back up. And then we're going to perform the DRA procedure by holding down the OK and down arrow button until you see the link HD and record lights blink three times. So once that's done, the DRA process is completed. And now we can turn it, we basically turn this unit into a good unit and we can put it on a good pallet. Let's power down the unit, unplug the HDMI cable. And box up the unit. In the plastic bag. Put the unit back in the box with the user manual. Close it back up. And then put this unit on a good pallet. Thank you.